Hi guys, today I'm doing another video on Stockhausen. This video carries on from the previous video that I did. Okay, once again there's a warning, this is atonal music and it's not for everybody. But um, if you're interested in this sort of thing then you might find this to be of some use. <laughs> Although this might sound like a load of notes that are just atonal, there is a sort of structural element to it. So for example, I start with E minor, doubling the third, which of course is something that you wouldn't do in the sort of Bach era. So we have E minor going down into F sharp augmented. octave of E. So we have and now we have a mirror sort of image. So we have D to B and D to B going the other way followed by the open string so that we can place the hand into the next part. So we have minor, F sharp augmented, octaves, and then a little mirror pattern. So as you can see there's a structural element to it. It's not just random notes. And also because of this little structure it gives you the rhythmic um, capacity to create it as like a turnaround, like a loop. Okay, the next part, this is very atonal. It's quite difficult to play actually, but it's just intervals. And this slides up a semitone to set us off for the next part. Where here, we will start with D, again doubling the thirds. So we have the octave. Next we have our E flat augmented arpeggio. The same with the F sharp arpeggio, the same fingering, the same shape. So again, there is a structural element there. Next we have this part, which is really just dissonance because the B flat and the B natural create dissonance. Also the E and the B flat making that flat five sound or sharp 11. Again, okay, now we have a B-flat augmented arpeggio going the opposite way as we just had this way, we go this way. And then down here, sort of, you could say it's minus seven flat five, and then it just resolves down to the D. Finally we have the chords, again it's a sort of dissonant concept really. It's more of how they sound than, than what they actually are or what they mean. It's just... So slowly we'll have this.
Anyway, that's just a little idea on developing ideas for this sort of Stockhausen um, way of composing because although it seems like there's just any old note being played and there's no logic to it and there's no um, structure, or you could just say it's um, just atonal, um, it's not really like that. There is a structural element, there's a, a meaning, um, a depth, a quality within it. And the more you learn of this music, the more you hear it, and the more then you can kind of implement these ideas into your own playing or own compositions or composing um, concepts. Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.